I'd like to call the order of the Connecticut City Council Committee meeting for Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. We have, um, and then uh, now I'd like to call to order City Development and Planning. We have two uh, items on the agenda. The first item is a ceremon ceremonial resolution recognizing National Mentoring Month in January. Um, the resolution will recognize 508 LA, formerly known as Capital Region Adopt Star. Mm -hmm. Ms. Harper? Good evening, City Council. Happy New Year. I am asking for a resolution um, in honor of Mentor National Mentorship Month, which is, which is in January. 518 Elevated, formerly known as Capital Region Adopted Scholar, has been serving the Capital Region for over 25 years, offering different programs throughout the city of Schenectady in the Capital Region for mentorship, financial college. Uh, funds and guidance. Um, currently, we have alumni of 500 Elevated serving in leadership capacities within the city of Schenectady, including myself and um, Mary Ann for Human Resources, and we also have colleagues who serve as mentors for this program. So I am bringing that to you um, today, offering and asking for your support for civil and resolution. Are there any questions? I'll continue I'll move this. I'll second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the next item on the agenda is to authorize the mayor or his designee to enter an agreement with the New York State Department of Transportation for the Crane Creek Bridge Rehabilitation. Mr. Wallen. Thank you for all being here for this. <laughs> no, I realize we need a special meeting. Uh, this is a preliminary design agreement for the design of possible repairs or even possibly replacement of the Crane Street Bridge over CSX and Amtrak. Uh, as a lot of you are aware, the city has several bridges over rail. Uh, I've been successful enough in my tenure to get funding for every single one of those bridges. This is the last one. Um, and what we're gonna be doing is studying what the bridge needs. Um, it's not in good shape. It is posted for load, which is a step that you take before possibly closing the bridge. So we want to address and get a design in place before we have to do anything with that like closure. Um, so this is a federal fund project. Um, it is on the tip for design and we're going to be going out for funding once we have a, an avenue and approach of what it's going to be. So, so you said there's an agreement for 360,000. Yes. So just for the preliminary design? Yes. So uh, yeah, that's just for the design. So mm -hmm. this is, and I, I put in there a note that yeah. that includes $100,000 for Amtrak mm -hmm. to uh, work with us on the design. Mm -hmm. So really, usually design is roughly 10 per 10, 15 percent of the construction. Mm -hmm. This is going to be very similar to King's Road. If it would need to be a replacement, King's Road was a six million dollar project. So that is an acceptable to budget, um, and we actually did negotiate that down to a bunch of uh, the factors that we've been working with because I've kind of done this before. But uh, we're confident that it's a it's a good price. It's a good group. Um, they've worked on these types of bridges before. Uh, it's going to be a long road working with the railroad, mm -hmm. but we'll, we'll get there. Any questions? Yes. Yes. When, when, when will you, when will it, what's the timeline? When do you think it's going to start? And well, we're going to design, is going to, that's why I'm trying to push, is that this is, this takes months to just get the design going. So we have the agreements, this is the next step of state, we're going to give it to the state for, uh, with the resolutions, that'll give us an authorization, we can't spend a dollar so the federal government gives us authorization. Once we have that, so I'm, I'm guessing design is going to take the better part of nine months, and then they have to review it, give us a sign off, and then you know. So there's two avenues, which is a major rehab, which is essentially we take the bridge right off the abutments and we put it back, uh, or it's you know what, it's just take the whole bridge away and do it. One of the issues that we're going to face is Amtrak has new clearances, so there is. Uh, so let's say 20 feet of clearance from the track to the bottom of the bridge. Mm -hmm. The new standard is 22 feet. Mm -hmm. So you have to get two feet more of clearance. Oh, right. And it's tough, mm -hmm. you know, to get a bridge, a new bridge, to get two feet more. You can't make it that much thinner. You got to raise it a little higher. Mm -hmm. As you raise it higher, the approaches get mm -hmm. steeper. So that's that's what we're going to be looking at. And if you guys are aware of this bridge, I want some sportsman's bowl is right there right. and then right when you get out of Rotterdam there's another bridge you got to go under yep. so this is this is complicated yeah mm -hmm. well. Mr. 
I'd just like to take the opportunity to thank you for your commitment and dedication. I know that you go through a lot. There's a lot that comes in and out of your office with, with some staffing issues, but always right on top of things. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Look forward to working with you again. Did you have again? No, she asked. Uh, oh, I'm thinking asked about the timeline. Oh, okay. um, well, the, the phase, the design phase, nine months. And then, like, when. So, this is preliminary design. design. Okay. So, once we have preliminary design, uh, then there's a final design phase. Mm -hmm. uh, typically, this would be the bulk. However, usually it's like, say, a road or a bridge that we know it has to be done. We know what the process is. Mm -hmm. This is an actual, honest preliminary design that we do not know where we're going. So I talked to the state and said, let's just get going. We're exploring, you know, three options. One is don't do anything the bridge closes, which is never an option. Really. But then it's replacement and rehab. So we're going to do some costs. We're going to see what we can do. And then once we have an idea of where we can actually go, then we go to final design and actually start thinking construction. But we have to get this phase done. No way to go. What would ever warrant for the bridge to be closed? But yeah, the rating right now is pretty low. Well. Rating is three tons right now. Yeah. And uh, well, you know, it gets inspected biannually every other year by the state. It does have flags that we have to address. Uh, it's a pre stressed concrete box, which means it's not steel, it can't be supported. Um, once it starts to go, there are some ways to repair it. I don't know if they're a great investment. Mm -hmm. um, but we will be aware as it gets monitored. Um, we're hoping that being we have a couple more years of life. The issue is we don't want an Oak Street situation. Or Oak Street got to the point yeah. where the DOT may explode. Um, we weren't prepared for Oak Street, but in this one, I'm trying to be prepared. Thank you. There is one right now, Bridge New York, uh, which we are eligible for, which we are working on. Any other questions? I move this. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, motion to adjourn to the development plan. So moved. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>